The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I flashed up the chart of the cell uh, index chart, and it looks like the stock market is going to go up forever, folks. I just got notice from the stock exchange that it will never go down again. So we're in pretty good shape there. I tried to post the chart for the NASDAQ. Excuse me, let's try that for the DAX. And the uh, German DAX and the FTSE, both of those didn't quite come through. I'm still having major problems uh, with the computer. I do have some good news is I took my old computer in, which is that Toshiba, Toshiba gaming computer that I bought five years ago. And the young man that uh, picked it up uh, and I took it to was supposed to be a computer expert. He had it for two days. And when I went to pick it up yesterday, he, he said to me, he said, they don't make computers this good anymore. And he said it's just as good as is new, and he said it'll last another five years. He replaced the hard drives, he replaced the uh, the fan and a couple other things I didn't quite understand, but, boy, it's really running quiet. The trouble is i got to re redo the whole thing and put everything in it. Folks, we've reached a very big uh, spot here. I, I know it's not going to come up, but I'm going to post the darn thing anyway, so hold on just a second. It's the fear. Ah, dear. I don't like this. Let's just get this fear index. <laughs> uh, Larry, 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 you just having all kinds of trouble today, Billy Ray. Capricorn, hold on just a minute here. There we go. I think that will hopefully you'll be able to see part of that fear index. It's at 85 now. It hardly ever gets uh, to 90, but it will probably be more than 90 today, given the fact that everything is uh, copacetic in the markets. But uh We've reached an area in the S&P that we've never seen before, to have this many up days with only one down day. Uh, it's never happened before. I like short the bonds right here, Ruby, at 162.20. That was the number I was looking at, and I think it's going to be okay. But let's look at a couple other things. One of the things we want to talk about, folks, is when markets fail. Remember here, we had this young man on. I don't remember exactly what his name was or where he was from, but he had this stock called ZS, I just want to bring this to your attention to show you. And I, I know the charts are only going to come out partial, but there's nothing else I can do about that. You know, we were looking for that stock to make a 1.618 retracement at 160, excuse me, at 63, <laughs> three, at 320. And I just wanted to show you uh, what, what happened to that stock after it hit 320. Let's just get this up here. And you'll be able to see it. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it. If nothing else, we'll be able to, uh, you can see it at another time. I will have everything up and running correctly by Monday at the very latest. I want to be able to do that. But you can see the 1.618 on the weekly. We broke out to the upside. We went up to uh, 327. We came back and touched that line one more time at uh, 320. That's the 1.618 line. And today, we've uh, actually gone higher. Uh, later today, because of the bullish news, we've reached a high of, I think, 338 is what I saw go across the tape a little while ago. So that's why those numbers are so important, folks. When they go beyond those numbers, you know, you really don't know where they're going to go. And that's the, the real key to, you know, trading is you got to figure out when you're wrong as often as you do is when you're right. Now, here's what we were watching last night. I just wanted to walk through these because it shows you that these things do have a high probability of working. Now, this happens to be, I'll do the gold and the crude oil, but let's do the, we'll do the crude oil first here. This is a, this is a nice 15-minute chart given the intraday action on the crude oil. As you can see here, we have this big ABCD pattern completing down in here. And now you can see that we're looking for the market to come up at this 382 level. That's, that's the first place you would be looking at it. So all we did then was to follow it through the rest of the evening. And I'll just get it up here because the, the alert, I believe, just went off just a few minutes ago that we hit that exact number. And we'll get this up here so you'll be able to see it. 
And that's what we're going to be doing here. We'll see. There's that number right there. Now, that's what we're, I'm going to be doing on the – I think we're going to be doing this on the 17th of November, folks, because I have to make sure that all the computer stuff is working. And I, uh, you know, I've only got five days to get that done, and I – I want to give it a little extra time, so we're probably going to move it back to the 17th. I'm not quite sure yet. If I can get everything up and running by the weekend, then that'll be fine. But if that doesn't happen, I'm not going to be uh, bothered by it too much. It certainly is going to be you know, something that I uh, can live with. That's not a problem. Uh, the other thing, let me just get, let me show you the, the gold chart here because this is something that I thought you might be interested in. Also, just give me one second here. This is a gold chart we were looking at, of course, with the jobs number coming in. You know, the gold number always looks, uh, you know, always looks real wild and crazy. And if you would have looked at the uh, the gold chart today, you would have seen a, a nice little, what we call a uh, gimme, a uh, beautiful 382 retracement down one half of harmonic number you'll see it hit it exactly there at the uh, 1785 level and it's rallied 20 some dollars from that level those are the kind of things that i'm going to be doing uh as i go through these charts here uh during the time when we're uh, trading together with tom hugard i'm also hoping that what i can get john jameson on for a small segment on the cryptocurrencies but uh, that's still up in the air i don't know whether i'll be able to whether I will be able to do that or not, but I'll still be working towards it. That's uh, that's for sure. All right. Now, I do want to talk just a tiny bit here about the euro. And uh, you'll see here, this is uh, what we're looking at here in the euro. We've got this market heading down, which we expected it to do. Uh, I saw it later or earlier today. I don't know how low it got, but the key is that we got to watch this dollar index because that dollar index has got up in an area where uh, it should be absolutely screaming to the upside with the stock with with the Dow Jones up 350 points and NASDAQ up 150, the S&P up 40, that dollar index ought to be hitting 95 and it's not even close to that. And that that's a little troubling because it should be, you know, right up into that area that should be making that high and it's not doing that and that's a, that's a little troubling. I don't understand you know, well, I don't understand a lot of things, but that's one of the things I'm waiting for is to see that market hit that particular spot. So that's another thing that I, I think that's, uh, it's important to uh, remember what we're looking at here. Now, I, I wanted to show you this one, folks, because this one's sort of in the news. Let me get this up here. This is the, oh, we're going to have a break here pretty quickly. Hold on, but we'll get this up here and start to talk about it. They're talking a lot now about, uh, you know, food shortages and stuff in China. Well, this is the soybean oil, folks. This is that, you can see that head and shoulders pattern. We were selling it up there at that 62 and change level. We're now down to almost the ABCD pattern within a heartbeat of the 1.618. Now, that is a perfect head and shoulders pattern, folks, because from the shoulder to the left shoulder is equal to the right shoulder, and the right shoulder is sh slightly lower than the left shoulder. That makes it a perfect head and shoulders pattern. That's why you've got the trend in your favor and all those factors together. They've been put together in a formula that was published in uh, the non-random walk down Wall Street by Dr. Andrew Lowe. Uh, I don't use formulas, but I can use my eyes. Hey, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. brother okay we're back folks and i wanted to uh chat with you just a little bit uh about the chart that i just posted i hope you can see it it's a dollar index if you can see it yourself if you pull your own dollar index chart out now what we've done today is done none other than to take out the high of the last two weeks which was up there right above that 95 level i think we got to 95.12 the old high was 95.09 folks that should have been a lot higher than that given the fact the news the way that it was that's very very uh, important to me because that thing should have really skyrocketed and the same thing with the euro even though it did break down you know it should have broken down even greater than what it did that doesn't mean it's not going to later on but it still goes uh, a lot lower. That's absolutely the way you want to do this. Hold on here. I'm getting a message here from TFNN. Maybe someone's calling in. Shut the front door and raise the rent. It's none other than Mr. Z. How do you be? Mr. Pesavento, <laughs> you've raised the rent too many times. Man, I'm yeah, almost homeless. I, I, hey, trust me, brother. We got lots of them out here, too. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Um, wanted to compare notes with you, please, on uh, sure. December Gold, Comex Gold. Yes. Larry, um, uh, people in a tiger's den know exactly what I do with gold and why. Um, and so I've done the work myself, and I trade it. My I, And I wanted to compare notes and ask you just to share your thinking, not on today's trade necessarily, but here we are, December gold, 1807. Let's keep in mind, gold rallied from uh, 2018 a low. In uh, 23 months' time, it went from 1160 up to 2070. So it rallied, you know, 85% in two years. We've now gone side, well, you know, we pulled back from that August 2020 high up to 2070. Interestingly enough, we've made a triple bottom this year, uh, March 1st, April 1st, and then August 8th on that slamma jamma on uh, Sunday mm -hmm. nights down there at that 1670, 75 area. So we've gone sideways, corrected lower, you know, pulled back at 20%. Uh, any 
any student of market history would say, oh, hey, after you've gone up 85% in two years, if you pull back 20% and take up a year, you know, that's nothing unusual. We've seen that sort of phenomenon many, many times before. So that's the history. We're at 1807. What are your tactics, please? Just share your line of thinking, not today's trade, mm -hmm. about how you will handle gold buys or buys in December or then February gold. How you'll handle mm -hmm. that if we start to emerge higher. And, of course, we haven't yet. We're just mm -hmm. in a range. We all know that. But uh, how are you going to handle gold uh, futures trading if we start to move higher? And I guess the first thing would be to break out over 1835. But uh, So mm -hmm. that's my question. I'd love to, sure. love to just listen and uh, hear your thoughts. Well, I'll give you my two cents worth, and if you pay more than that, you've overpaid, my friend. But here it goes. We made a load the other day. We were buying it there at 1760. It was a perfect Gartley pattern. Had a, a beautiful double ABCD there at 1760. The low was 1759. We sold it out at 1796. We bought it back on the 382 retracement today. I posted that chart in the den just a little while ago, long before it ever happened, because I sent it out because I don't have any videos to talk from. But I did send it out in a group to the folks to say, look, uh, pay attention to this one because it looks really interesting. And the 382 was 1786. And it went to 1785. It's now $22 higher. And I don't think you have to wait till 1835, my friend. I think if you can get this thing anywhere close to uh, 1815, uh, that's going to be really strong enough because we're way above the 78% level already. That came in at 1802. And so that's a really strong indication that we should be uh, should be going higher. And I, I really believe that we're going to have a major bull market in gold sometime in the future. Uh, that's about as close as I can get uh, to timing. I, I went through the timing stuff yesterday, and if you'll remember, I was saying this may be something really significant in the stock market, and it wasn't. So I have to say, well, I better stand aside. But this is the kind of action you'd like to see. Getting back to the gold, uh, it just looks very bullish right now. It really does because of that. If, if you just, just did the measurement on that, it's going to take it at least $100 higher. You know, because we ran up a hundred, you know, backed off three eight two, and you know that's going to take us a hundred dollars higher. Thanks so much for uh, articulating those thoughts, Larry. Uh, just a follow up, please. You bought it last. Excuse me. You bought it earlier this week uh, down there at seventeen sixty for the reasons you mentioned. Mm -hmm. You saw an opportunity this morning uh, for the reasons you mentioned. Okay, so far so good. Given those actions of yours, given what you've uh, shared with us just about a, um, you know, a sense of what your outlook is, is this mm -hmm. a time and a place in which you gravitate to um, building multiple positions uh, in hopes of capitalizing upon a larger move? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, John, uh, I'm in the I'm in my eighth furlong. I'm an eighth furlong in, in one uh, one ten yard stretch. So I really don't uh, really care about the, you know doing that. I'm interested in being you know consistent with the trading that I do each day. Uh, I do you know I do I do trading each day, but I'm not worried about building. I have you know I have gold that I've held for a long long time. I'm not going to touch that, and and uh, who knows who's going to in the family is going to touch it. But I probably won't. <laughs> and I, that that no, I, well, he, you know, John, I'm talking about stuff that I, you know, I got cougar ends I paid a hundred a quarter for. No, no, you know, I, that, uh, you know, I, uh, I understand. I've listened to your you know, stories now yeah, for Larry. It's yeah. Been, frankly, I think yeah. the first time I heard your voice, I think it was 2007, mm -hmm. just after uh, you met Tom at one of the money yes. shows or yeah. or Traders Expo. So, uh, yeah, I got that. Yeah, that's really because I, I when and when I do the things for TFNN, uh, I you know I, I make it my 
make it a point to try to you know make money for the people that pay for it every month so i'm I'm looking to make a trade every day or every other two or three days which is not very much i mean the soybean oil look at that one that's dropped uh you know four handles down and it's in the midst of when uh, china is supposed to be seeing in the news that china is in food rationing <laughs> we haven't seen any of that from our friends over there but again that's probably false news so all i try to do i don't really build the positions uh try to make a major moves like i, I did when i was a lot younger I don't have to take those risks anymore, and uh, I guess you you know, it's just thoroughly. it's just my uh, it's just my style. I'm going to share with you. Sure. Um, I say this to myself all the time, and I'll just share it with you publicly. Beware, beware, beware of the stories that emerge after major market moves, either up or down in any market. So. The, We've had major moves that really began. Whoops, are we uh, running out of time? No, you, you so much, you, no, 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 no. Stay with us, please. Can you do that? Can you stay with us? We'll, yep, we'll do. Yep, please do. Mr. Z will be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Mr. Z out of Philadelphia. And, John, we were chatting about uh, positions in gold and stuff. I hope that answered your questions. But, you know, I... Uh, 
I, I just don't do that anymore. When I was managing money those years, I certainly had to do that because I didn't do uh, a lot of day trading. I did a little bit. Uh, John, I don't know if you watch Bloomberg very much, but Lloyd uh, Blank Pine, uh, I forget what his last name is, used to run Goldman Sachs. They were interviewing him last night. You know, he's retired, and he really had a great uh, story to tell. And here he is, the CEO of Goldman Sachs. Do you know that he was day trading every day while he was the CEO? He said he loved it that much. He said it's a thing that keeps him young. He said he likes uh, – he said, I make a few bucks doing it, and he said, I just love it. And he said the uh, facilities are such that you can trade anywhere in the world at any time, and it was really interesting listening to him talk about it. And you could see the sparkle in his eye, and, and Eric Schatzker said uh, – he said, you're like a little kid when you talk about this. And he said, yeah. He said, that's what it makes me feel like. It was really cool you know, to uh, listen to him talk about that. So I was thinking of you when I saw that, pal. Uh, I learned a great deal from he and some of his former colleagues, mm -hmm. and I agree with uh, your observation right there uh, precisely, Larry. <clears throat> Adding to yeah. that, recall back in the early 80s, Sally bought Fibro Brothers, the commodity dealer. Sure. About, about the same time, Goldman bought J. Aaron another forex commodity trader. And mm -hmm. just remember, Blankfein came out of J. Aaron. So he was schooled as a very young person as a trader. And mm -hmm. we, uh, we all know of the reputation of uh, Goldman Sachs, been in business for 150 years now. And I recall vividly sometime back in the 2005 to 13 time frame, I don't remember when, Blank Fine was interviewed where he uh, shared with the, the, uh, the, uh, the host, shared with the host a tip, actually a rule, that he told his Chief traders and all their subordinates, all the traders that Goldman had back at that time, and that is, you uh, you are trading. You've got market positions, and your job every day is to sell or buy a little of what your big positions are to prove to yourself you've got enough market depth and liquidity such that if you need to exit a position selling a long or covering a short, either at a gain or a, uh, or a loss, you'll have the capability to do so, and you'll know you've got that capability because you're active every day, not moving big positions, but nibbling uh, mm -hmm. to stay fully engaged with market character and the amount of uh, market intelligence and, and market character you can pick up upon is just terrific when you're doing that that daily nibbling, if you will, around mm -hmm. your core positions. So uh, I took that to heart long ago, and that is an absolute truth in trading. Mm -hmm. uh, so so Blankfein certainly knows of what he speaks, no doubt about mm -hmm. it. Sure does. Anyway, my friend, uh, thank you for joining us and keep us informed whenever you're looking at some stuff. I know you do a great deal of work for TFNN and there for the folks there. And that den is a great place to go if you're home and you're worried about uh, not having any friends. The den's got a lot of really smart people in there with some really good comments. So uh, thanks Larry, for doing one, what one you do, buddy. One follow-up. I sure. called and asked you two weeks ago about the uh, New York Board of Trade coffee markets yes what i will t uh, and some time has passed and i've done only one trade since mm -hmm. that that coffee market is range bound near the highs mm -hmm. but what i'll share with you is this uh bottom line there's the potential that that uh, dees coffee contract and i guess we'll have to roll to the march coffee contract next week there's the potential of uh, some significant decline. Uh, the reason I say that is this, in July and early October, that contract made a double top at precisely, I mean, within one-tenth of a point 
of a double top at uh, 215. Mm -hmm. This week, there was uh, a C to D leg of an ABCD bounce pattern that ceased rallying exactly at an ABCD projection and also exactly at a FIB 786 level. I think the high was 212. So mm -hmm. if we break one, you know, pick a round number, if we break uh, $2.197 next week, we could have some aggressive selling. I just uh, share with you something that I'm looking at. No forecast, but uh, that's mm -hmm. of interest to me. Well, John, I'll be focusing on that over the weekend for the 24-7 futures part because I do watch coffee for you and a few other folks, so I'll be doing that. And I agree with you. We are in a, we had that 195 area, which you were talking about a few weeks ago, with a beautiful ABCD down, and I, I think we rallied 24 cents from there. Haven't, didn't we get up to almost the new highs? Uh, within three cents. Uh, yeah, back okay. on Monday or Tuesday, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Larry, thanks well, so much for doing the show. Hey, Great to talk thank to you. Thanks for calling in. Okay, folks, so let's talk. Yeah, let's talk just a little bit about uh, what you do when you're wrong in these markets. We've already talked about that with the with the ZS. You know, the fact that once it gets above that 1.618, uh, you know, uh, I you know, there, if you want it, you don't have to chase the market because the market's running in the direction of the trend. That's certainly it. Remember yesterday, I was talking about the key price of uh, 46.78 in the E-mini S&P. And if you uh, want to see how important that was, go look at your charts this morning, folks, because once it went to 46.78 and a quarter, it never looked back. It went all the way up to 47, I don't know what the high was, 47, 12, 47, 13, but that's a real key number. The fellow that gave me that uh, from over in the UK, uh, not John Jameson, of somebody else, but uh, he said if we get above that, we're going to definitely clear 4,700, and we've certainly done that. The type of action that you're seeing today with this emotionalism is the kind of thing that you like to see uh, because it doesn't come around very often. We showed you the fear and greed index over 85%. And it'll probably be a lot higher than that by the end of the day. So those are a couple of the things that we want to, uh, you know, really watch as we get ready for next week's action because we're going to start to see some stuff that is really good. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about, you know, you get a lot of things in the news. Let me uh, let me get this prepared for you. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. it this is the chart of Peloton, folks. I want to get this up here. I'll have these. Uh, I'll have these things done here pretty soon here. If you'll notice here, uh, this stock went from 175. Today, it's trading around 58. Now, that, that's, a, that's more than a 10%. Well, I'm joking around. But anyway, look at this. You have a big ABCD pattern up there at the top at 175. Then you, then you see the little red line there. That's a lower tops telling you the trend is changing. And that line tells us that we've got to pay a few bills. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. 
His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, we're back. And one of the things that the people ask me about is, you know, doing an autobiography. And I frankly uh, don't, I've got a bunch of notes and stuff, but I, I haven't, uh, I'm not probably not going to do that. Uh, I've been doing this for six decades. One of the things I'm going to do, I'd like to get your opinion on this, as a matter of fact. You know, I, each time I give a little story about what's going on here and there, and, and a lot of them come from this list that I have, but I think if I went through each decade, of uh, you know the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, uh, even in 10 and 20, it'll give an idea of some of the things that I worked on and how I got to where I am and stuff like that. But some of the some of those memories is what I live by. I think one of the thing, in fact, one of the things today, I was chatting with Tommy O'Brien, and I remember vividly when I first was asked by Drexel Burnham to even uh, you know go to work for them. I went to the Beverly Hills Country Club. I've told you this story before. I went in and I saw Joey Bishop. And and, and uh, Dean Martin sitting over there, and it was late in the afternoon. It was about 1.30. There was hardly anybody there. And uh, so I went back, and I sat with these three Drexel people. And uh, they were just really great, nice fellows, very warm. And uh, one, one was about my age. In, in, uh, I was around 40 at the time. How old was I? No, I had only 40. I was only about 36. Anyway, uh, and then there were a couple of other fellows that had been with Drexel for a long time. Uh, Fred Joseph, who was the treasurer of uh, uh, Drexel, happened to be in from New York. So he was one of them. And my immediate supervisor was Bob Zussman. He had been with Drexel for, from the very beginning. And so I did those uh, I did those uh, uh, interviews with them. But during the times that I was sitting there talking to them, you know, those three hours, you know, all I could do, uh, they uh, – Dean Martin and Joey Bishop stayed for about an hour and a half, but I was, I was, I was just literally overwhelmed with, uh, uh, I don't know what it was, uh, euphoria, I guess, because you know, I'd, I'd been around movie stars, I'd seen them because I lived in Westlake Village, we had a lot of them there, but that really, really sort of made me, uh, made me realize this was a different era I was going into, and so from that area, uh, when I finally went to work for, for Drexel uh, about two weeks later, the first thing they did is they sat down with me and they said, look, he says, we've got a lot of customers here. He said, some of them are very famous. He said, some of them, you don't even know who they are. He said, but they're all very, very important. He said, our customers are accustomed to making money and our customers are accustomed to losing money. He said, the one things that our customers are not accustomed to and that is losing all their money and he said we don't want you to do that and he says we're not going to let you do that and i said i think that's a great idea and he said how are we going to do that and he said if you drop 25 percent of the money we give you then you're going to be put on a sabbatical for a month until you figure out what you did wrong 
Well, I, I never had to go through that. I think the biggest drawdown I had in the six years I was there was about 10 percent. I probably did that a half a dozen times. And those that probably relates to those six letters that I had for resignation. But I, I made it through all easily enough. But uh, that that's what that's what it was really all about, folks. It was meeting the people that I was going to be working with. And they were so very, very helpful to me on everything that I did. And I think I don't know if you're going to like stories like that. But, I, you know, this is you got to remember, folks, when I started, there were no books and stuff like this. The only books you could get on trading were at places like the Investment Center book store in Santa Monica. Nobody had stuff like that. I've got more books than he had. I've got probably 3,000 books uh, over, the, over the years and uh, you know, all related to trading and, and stuff like that. But you know, when I start when I start writing, you know, the, when I start doing my autobiography, the main books that, that occurred to me when I was you know, first starting in, right out of college and stuff, uh, you know, basically, I was looking at things from Napoleon Hill and W. Clement Stone, and uh, oh, I can't even remember Tom's uh, the young man's uh, the salesman that was really really smart. I can't remember, but he was a very good salesman. It was all about positive thinking, you know, and stuff like that. And that that's what got me into that. And then, of course, you know, when I got into the '80s, I, I, I worked with uh, uh, Anthony Robbins. He was just a kid. He was only 20. You know, and uh, you know he's only. I think he charged a hundred dollars for his first uh, for his first uh, lessons, and he was just as good at twenty as he was with forty. So, and he's still going strong. So, those are just a few of the things that I'm going to cover. I mean, mo most of it's going to be related to during the time that I, you know, during the fifty, the sixties. You know, who I met during that time. What what did they help me with my with my trading? Because some of them were my mentors. They actually pushed me in the right direction. Others were just people that I met and that I admired. You know, the Roy Longstreet and his his son Bill and a whole bunch of other people. And especially on the floor of the exchange, I met so many people there that uh, that I admired and I I realized how how important they were and what great traders they were. But it it wasn't about the money; it was what they did with it, you know. After they made it, and that's uh, that's what's really was the important thing that I picked up, you know, during that time. I've remained friends with many of those people, uh, through well, except the ones that have passed away, and I'll be having friends with them someday soon. <laughs> but uh, my closest friend, of course, is uh, is Byron Tucker, and I, I'm in contact with Byron every day, and uh, he is, you know, still in contact with Leo Malamud and some of the other folks that we knew there. But I think the less Lessons that I learned from some of those people, we can all we can all learn from because I think it's uh, it's important to do that. But when we do this day trading thing, it's there to make money, folks. And we would have had one heck of a day today because uh, we were looking at some things that were really coming that come together. That soybean oil was breaking down to its target. You know, the euro was breaking. You know, it was just really. Uh, you know, really hanging in there pretty good. So we'll see what, uh, see how these things end up uh, today. But we're having some really good swings, and that's the main thing. The other one was the uh, natural gas was another really good moving uh, trade today. And, of course, the crude oil. Crude oil was one of the easier ones, as, as was the gold, because of the fact that we were setting there at such a beautiful level, uh, 382, just as a time that the report comes out, and we know how people react around those reports. It might not have worked, but if you put a buy in, you know, at uh, 1786 and the low was 1785, you know, you didn't have to put much of a stop on that because it, it gave you about a $7 profit before you could even put the stop in. But what we do is we put the stop in at the same time we put the buy in because sometimes these things go straight down instead of straight up. And that's what we're trying to uh, look at while we're watching here. Folks, I've been doing this stuff a long time, Bubba's. Let me tell you something. What you're seeing today ain't the beginning. This is not the beginning, boys. This is not it. Remember little Archimedes when he was sitting in that bathtub scrubbing his back, and all of a sudden he said, Eureka, Eureka. Well, Eureka, Eureka was the buoyancy of that water that made the soap uh, float and that's what's happening to this market we are making some type of an historic high i don't know how much higher it's going to go and i frankly don't care i'm just waiting to see a nice little pattern that tells me say bubba you don't have to risk very much to get short here and that's what i'll be watching for and that's the main thing that we try to do 
when we're doing our 24-7, especially, you know, when we're doing the day trading, we'll set it up. And we, we've done three of these, and they've all done very, very well, very profitable. And I'm pretty sure this one's going to be good because we got Tommy Hugard will be coming in, uh, helping me and uh, sharing great information. And we got some wonderful stories together if we have some time to actually uh, do that also. So that's I think I've told the story how I met Tom. He was... Uh, uh oh, we'll do that later. Hey, let's take a break. 877 927 6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks, and I wanted to mention to you uh, one of the things when you're when you're investing in stuff and you buy things and you hold them for a long period of time, you've got to remember that certain times along the way, there things might change. Look what's happened to Peloton, folks. <clears throat> this was one of the great stocks. I mean, this thing went to uh, 175. Now it's down to uh, 59. You've got to figure out someplace along that line where you want to get out of it. You know, that's the main thing that uh, what you want to be doing. And that's what patterns will help you do. It tells you, uh oh, something's changed from what we're looking at right now. I mean, we've reached something in this S&P that we've never, I think we've only seen this one other time where we've been up, I think, 16 out of 17 days. We had one down day. And that hasn't happened. Uh, you just prove it to yourself. Defy human nature, like Twentyman says, and do the work yourself. Uh, shut the front door and raise your rent. You're absolutely sure that that hasn't happened since, uh, well, 
You have to go back and look yourself because I did, and I think you'll be really surprised the last time something like that happened. You'd be, uh, I think you'd be very, very surprised. Anyway, as we look at some of these things uh, coming into this week, you know, we're having a just we just broke out of gold. We just broke above the eighteen twelve level. Uh, Z was looking at eighteen thirty five. If we can close above eighteen fifteen, that would certainly be a a good thing to move. But remember, that's moved thirty dollars, folks, from the uh, three eight two retracement that came in at eighteen eighty five, and and we sent that out, you know, long before, you know, the markets uh, opened uh, last night. We sent it out, and we were still trading at eighteen uh, ninety two, and then it went down to eighteen eighty seven into that spot. So that's what we're trying to do as we look at some of these each time as we go through these. So remind yourself, folks, to you know help your neighbors because it's uh, even though there's a lot of you know, the, the, the economy is wonderful and everybody has full employment and everybody has a chicken in the pot. Uh, a lot of people don't. We have a lot of homeless people here in Tucson, which is really quite surprising because. Uh, of course, the weather's nice. That's one of the reasons why the homeless live here. But uh, try to help folks out, cause especially the veterans, because some of them are really in bad shape. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Mm -hmm.